Oh, it sound feels good. Yes. So today we are finally fixing my Audi A3 sports back air conditioning. It's um, a condenser and a pipe that it's required to buy. So let's get to it. Oh, hello, welcome people and welcome to my channel. Um, basically, I told you about my, in my last video that I went to get my, uh, my car serviced and get the AC re get re uh, regassed, found out um, that, it, that it was broken, took it to a, a specialist and they told me that the, um, the main refrigeration pipe that goes from the condenser and, send, and uh, makes, make, basically makes the cold air in your car cold um, had, had got a crack in it which means I'd need a new one and because it also attaches to the condenser and it can also it can get corrosive and then break I might have to get a condenser as well I got a quote from these specialists and they said it would be around a thousand pounds to fix. It cost me 180 quid to get it um, evaluated and quoted. And then they said, oh, a thousand pounds to get it, to buy the parts, get them fitted and be gassed. I was like, a thousand pounds for cold air in my car. I've taken it to get finally fixed. They told me it would be about £500 because apparently the front bumper, the lights and the radiator have to come off and they have to replace it all and get it all prepared and all that stuff. So, talking Stephen still £700 to fix, to get me cold air in the, in the car but for selling purposes as well, I think it will help. Um, I'm going to get the windows tinted soon for future if I have kids and it looks better and to keep the, 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 the car cool. I don't know how to fit those myself or get them freshly done. Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm also going to get new wheels for it because I don't really like the wheels on this car at all. I think they're awful, but you know, and I also might change the suspension because it's so balanced the suspension. Whenever you go over anything, you get, sh sh you get shaking around like that and it's a bit, a bit crap to be fair. Let me know what you think. Uh, and I'll get back to you when, we, when we're finished and I've got the car back later on today. So talk to you soon. Bye bye. So, what is going on? So right now, oh, it sound feels good. Yes, I have got just, I've just been, as I said, to my, um, to collect my car. I dropped off at nine o'clock. It is now four o'clock. Half past three, I got a phone call. Can you keep come and collect your car? I'm happy. It's half the price I thought it was gonna be. I get to send the, the condenser, which I bought a condenser and a pipe because they weren't sure. So I can send my condenser back now to the shop, to where I got it from. That saves me a hundred pounds. Apparently it was just the pipe, they didn't need to use any washers, any um, sealant, seals or anything like that. They bought a new seal which cost about 30 quid in seals and, and screws. I think they probably used a screw because if you put some, a new thing on, unless it's in good condition, if it's corroded, you put a new screw in with some of this blue stuff that's helps seal it. I don't can't know what it's called, this blue stuff. It's like a blue paste you put on the end of a screw. It's called like seal tight or tight seal or secure seal or something like that. I think they've just replaced the pipe, it seems, service labour was 175 quid, I presume that's just for a few hours, they have to take the front bump off apparently, and the light is off, which I presume they put, they've obviously put them back in, and then they took it for a test drive to make sure it's sweet. I have now delicious cold air, which I'm pumping out because it is a quite a hot day today, and even though it's raining here quite a bit, it's still quite a hot, hot here. When they, when, I, when they originally got quoted, they said it'd be three hundred fifty pounds for the refrigeration patient refrigeration pipe and three hundred fifty pounds for the condenser. I went away, got got them myself. There's no warranty on it because there just there just isn't any warranty on it basically because uh, I bought I sourced the part myself, brand new. Um, turns out that. I got it for £100, they paid, so it's £250 saving. All in all, 
it cost me 195 to get it checked out um, it cost me hundred pounds to have to buy the pipe so that's 295 pound and then 288 pounds so that's basically about 500 and something pound to get cold air in my in my car um, instead of a thousand pounds which it was I was told it would be so 550 maybe to get cold air in my car and in this place a Volksmaster is a Volkswagen um, uh, uh, um, specialist they have various ones around the country one to me Volksmasters it's called they do anyone any Volkswagen so things so basically you've got a physical Volkswagen is basically um, is, is Lamborghini Audi Seats um, Volkswagen obviously and various other ones so they are fitting good um, and they are expensive but if I could say I went to a proper dealership to get my car fixed then amazing and it helps helps when I come to sell the car I'll say I've got a brand new AC unit fitted and people will be happy so I'm happy about that and the good thing is about Volksmasters which is why I'm giving them a very good review because apart from the fact they saved me a lot of money which I'm glad about well I saved myself a lot of money but they saved me quite a bit of money was that after every single job they do they do they value your car which we all um, think when we see when we think of cold air we all think oh the car gives the cold air but they don't understand how much stuff costs to fix one into it's a little because technically air conditioning is a luxury if you think about it it is a luxury I mean I could didn't have I didn't have cold air throughout the, when it was a few weeks ago and it was absolutely roasting didn't have any cold air I said to oh, turn the cold air on the, on the natural cold air that comes out from outside I had to just do that and put the window down and now fingers crossed I have it'll last for, for I don't know how often you're supposed to regas a bloody air conditioning unit but hopefully it won't be for quite some time and remove and replace customers own because I bought my own pipe AC refrigerant patient pipe foot Full air AC condition service carried out to vehicle. Um, service labour, 175 quid. Regassing, 65 quid. Labour, 240. Parts none. They didn't use any. Of the, any didn't use any of the parts that they bought. Obviously, stupid tax because everything's taxed because the government are twats. So we get t taxed 45. 48 pound tax so the final bill is 288 pounds I mean you know so that basically tells you I paid 195 pounds for them to check it out I paid 100 pounds to get the part so that's 395 295 sorry and then I paid 288 so two nights as well it's just under 600 pounds to get my car fixed just for cold air which is better than I say than 1200 as I said but it's not something I wanted to do so but it's something I had to do neighbors said to me just you put the cold air on we open the window but it's not the same is it you got to do what you got to do. I hope this tells you one thing to look out for when you're doing any fixing your car. Are you buying a, a, um, an Audi? Check the AC because it'll cost a fucking fortune. There you go. So hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe and uh, like this if it helped you. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Fucking nice one. Bye bye.